What is up guys, Royal Penguin from Disrupt Gaming here, and in today's video, I want to teach you guys how to play Ash. Now, a lot of people play Ash, I want to teach you how to play her correctly as well, because a lot of people will take her as she's one of the most popular operators in the game, whether it's for her gun, her ability, or her speed, whatever it may be, she is one of the most popular operators, so I want to show you guys how to play her correctly, just so that way you guys know when you guys are playing. That being said, that leads me into the question of the day. Why do you like playing Ash? Do you like to play Ash for her gun? Do you like to play Ash for her ability? Or why do you like to play her in general? Be sure to let me know down below. I'd love to read the comments. That being said, let's get right into this video. All right, so starting off, I want to look and pretty much explain to you, you know, let's see what Ash has. Okay, so she has an R4C, obviously, which is a very, very good gun, which is the most common weapon that you will see people run when playing Ash. It has is 39 damage, 860 fire rate, and 50 mobility, and 30 capacity. Now, although she lost her ACOG, this is one of the best guns that you will see people running. Now she also has the G36C, which is a great weapon as well, which you'll probably see people run more often, especially with the new nerf coming to the R4C. I think people are going to start using the G36C way more than the R4C compared to like what it used to be. I think people are still going to use this once they learn the new, you know, recoil patterns of it, but definitely the people who kind of struggle with the recoil patterns are probably going to go and try the G36C. All right, so when looking at the first thing that you should really be doing as Ash, let's say you're, you know, attacking Master Bedroom on Oregon. Now, you need to make sure that you are using your Ash Chargers. You have three of them, and they are very, very useful for the clearing utility, which I'll show later on, as well as just clearing, like, bandits or caves from below. Now, for example, let's say you're attacking upstairs, like I said, let's say, you know, you're attacking Master Bedroom. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to do this on other sites as well, like other sites like, you know, Clubhouse, you could do it on as well if they're bandit tricking. But your main goal is going to be to go and destroy the, like, you know, bandit chargers or mutes or caves off the wall. Now, for example, that will probably require you to go below. On top of that, Ash is an entry fragger, which I'll get into later, but generally your main goal is going to be to drone out underneath anywhere that you're going to have to push, underneath anything that you can really go from below and Ash charge, such as, let's say, like I said, Master Bedroom. You're going to obviously have to drone out the area, and after you drone out the area, what you're going to want to do is hop in, and once it's clear, you're going to want to shoot anywhere where the, you know, the wall is. Now, your main goal is going to be to destroy anything off the wall. Like, this is the wall right here. Let's say they have bandits here. They have caves here. It generally allows you to destroy it off so that way anybody like a that, you know, like a thermite or like an ace or habana can get the wall because that's very, very important for you to have a hard breacher and open up any walls. Overall, it's definitely one of the most important like roles that you can do is just to go from below and destroy any, you know, bandits or mutes off it to clear it out. That's going to be one of your main goals. Now, she has a couple of them too. Like, she also is an entry fragger, which I will get into, and she also is very, very good for destroying things like Maestro, you know, cams, barbed wire, shields. There's a ton of things that you can do with Ash, and she is very, very, very important. Now, you have three Ash charges, like I said, so you want to make sure that you look at all the walls that you're going to be going for. See where you're going to be pushing. Like, for example, if you're attacking on Oregon, right, a lot of times what people will do is they'll go for a split push. Meaning they'll have some people push the master bedroom and some people will push the attic. And you kind of come together and push. And that's when Ash can become very useful because she does have three Ash charges. So for example, let's say like I showed you the master bedroom. You shoot, you know, by the fan and it'll destroy any bandits off or you can look and get the case off. Now another great spot would be, let's say, inside of the meeting hall. And you could just literally destroy anything on the attic wall, which then allow a Thermite or an Ace or Habana, whoever is over there, to then open it up and push attic and push Master Bedroom. She is very viable for allowing both, you know, hard breachers to open up walls and is very well needed. Like, a lot of times they have a, you know, a mute, it's, it's hard to get a twist run in there. It's hard to do this because they're going to be looking out for that. As well as if you try and nade it out, they might have an ADS that will stop nades from coming through certain windows or just from opening it up. So it's very important to make sure you are looking at, you, you know, your utility and just making sure that you have it to use. Now, another huge thing that I would say is really important is I like to run breaching charges on Ash. And I'll explain why it's way more important to run breaching charges rather than run something like a Claymore. Now, for example, a lot of times it's very important to take vertical control, especially if someone like your sledge dies or if you don't even bring a sledge, right? So you generally want to save your ash charges for as much as you can. But when it comes to vertical play, do not use your ash charge on a vertical play. Bring breaching charges and save these for stuff like Maestro turrets, save them for stuff like shields, save them for stuff like barbed wire, anything along those lines, or even a Rooney gates, as it's very, very important to save it. And if you have breaking charges, you can literally bring it and open up the floor above. I see a lot of people, what they tend to do is to bring a Claymore and then they'll just shoot an Ash charge at the floor when you can literally use this for so many other things, like either opening up soft walls to allow different crosses to happen or literally destroying utility. And utility is super, super important in this game. So let's say there's a bunch of, you know, Legion Mines and barbed wire and a shield. You can destroy all that with one Ash charge and you have three of them. So saving them is super important, especially for later rounds, like for like Maestro Turrets. 
super important to bring and make sure you are always bringing breach charges as I feel they're way more important than claymores because Ash can really just do about anything. Like I mentioned, she is an anti fragger, so which I'll show some clips generally showing that like she is very important and I'll get into that. But in conclusion, make sure that you are using your Ash charges and make sure you're using them for stuff like shields, Maestro turrets, barbed wire, legion mines, runic gates, anything to clear utility as utility is super, super important. I feel like generally trying to figure out what to use your ash charges on as well as your breaching charges on can be a little hard at times, but just know that utility is very important to clear and you are the main person to do that as well as you are an entry fragger. So you're gonna, you know, you're gonna have to be the first person to go in. Now, one way to look at what to destroy, I would generally make sure you drone out everything and check what is most important, what's gonna stop you from getting your plant down, what's gonna stop you from advancing in the round and doing stuff like that. But that being said, let's move on to the next tip. All right, now before we move on to the next tip quickly, I wanna say if you guys do enjoy these types of videos, be sure to let us know, be sure to leave a comment, and be sure to subscribe. That being said, we also have a weapon skin in this store. Do not forget to pick it up. It is amazing. You can get the DG skin on the L8, and you also get an amazing charm. So be sure to go grab it. It is fire. Trust me, you will not regret buying it. I love it. I use it all the time, and it's amazing. It's in the store. Be sure to pick it up. That being said, let's move on to the next tip. All right, so the next tip I want to talk about is her main role as an entry fragger. As you guys may know, different people have different roles, like a support role or a fragging role. And she's the entry, meaning she is going to be the first line of attack. If, you, if you're going to be playing Ash, you cannot be scared. You need to make sure your aim is on point. You need to make sure you're playing with confidence because you are going to be the one that is going to be hammering your way into the bomb site. You're going to be the one taking the gunfights first. You're going to be the one that's being droned in and trying to kill anyone that, you know, is found across the map. Now, best way, to, you know, I'd recommend doing is just, like, make sure you're always warmed up. Do some T-hunts before you go play and just go into, you know... Blast some music, do some Tiana's the Ash, warm your aim up, boost your confidence, because her your main role as her is you're gonna have someone drone you in and you're just gonna have to go in and kill people. You have an amazing gun and you're you're three speed as well. So you're gonna be a very fast operator, you have an amazing gun. So your main goal is going to be to just kill as many people as you can. You are on that slayer role for a reason. You have to make sure you can gun out and you're going to be the person that's going to lead, you know, your entire team into victory. Now, yes, support roles can help you as well, you know along the whole way but generally speaking you are an entry fragger you have to initiate the push as you see in some of these clips me just pushing in and killing people it's very important to make sure you have confidence when playing but like that's generally how you're supposed to play ash you're not supposed to play her in a very passive way you can in a way but like you're really not supposed to that's not her role the best way to play her and do her role is generally to be the first line of attack and that's what you have to do but i feel like ash is generally very simple looking at a you know overview of everything i would say make sure that you are going from below and using your ash charges to get any bandits or mutes or caves off the wall make sure that you are going in first and having someone drone you in as well as make sure you're using your utility make sure you are destroying anything like maestro turrets shields barbed wire or runic gates anything along those lines that would you know get in the way of you winning the round make sure you're using that to your best ability and make sure you're using breaching charges you can use claymore but i would say breaching charges are better Overall, I think it's very simple. It just takes time to really practice it out and get it down. But that being said, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. My name is Royal Penguin. I will see y'all. Have an amazing day. Peace. Hey, real quick, before you do leave, I want to say, don't forget about the Disrupt Gaming skin. It is in the store on the L8. It is amazing. I run it on Sledge all the time. Be sure to go check it out. It's still one of my favorite skins in the game. Go give it a try. You're going to get a great charm with it, too, if you want to get the combo. But... Let me know if you got it down below. And don't forget to go grab it out of the shop.